we've talked about a lot of names. We've talked about a lot of players, a lot of edge rushers that could be available come the trade deadline. But this one right here was one that I had tucked way, way, way in the back because I didn't think it was a chance that this guy would be available. And I'm going to let you decide, okay? What do you think based on these comments? Now, this is coming from Ari Miroff, courtesy of My Sports Update via Twitter. Says, now this is an actual insider, an actual insider with the NFL. Says the Browns will strongly consider trading Amari Cooper and others if the losing continues, explaining why and the value they could get. And then I listened to his, his uh, podcast. I listened all the way up to the part that they got to talking about the Browns. And this is coming from a mailbag that somebody was asking them. And one of the things that they talked about, they started the segment out by talking about Amari Cooper and how he's on the last year of his deal. And just like we discussed in that Amari Cooper video a few nights ago, if the Lions traded for Amari Cooper, any team, they would only owe him about a million dollars. That's it. And plus whatever draft capital you give up. What's happening is the Browns are trying to get somebody to bite because he's on the last year of his deal and they need to recoup some of their draft assets themselves. So we talked about Amari Cooper. There are other people on the last year of his deal, of their deals. And those are the people that he was primarily focusing on. So I'm going to put that out there right now. But then I start thinking, moving people over to the side. And is it possible that the Browns would be willing to part ways with Miles Garrett? Okay. Now, before you think that this is crazy, we've seen crazier things. TJ Hawkinson traded to a division rival at the trade deadline. Didn't see it coming. The Browns are in trouble. According to Ari, this dude is, we know that Deshaun Watson is getting $230 million guaranteed. He's not going to be benched. Those are his words. He's not going to be benched. Forget about it. Okay? So you already got to eat that loss, which means your team is probably going to be bad for the next couple of years. And guess what? We're going to go into something. This Miles Garrett thing is crazy. It really is. Now, here's, I'll put this before you. While we're going over his numbers and his salary cap, I or his cap, I want you to think about would you do this and what would you give up for Miles Garrett? And I'm not saying he on the menu. I'm not saying that. But we've seen things. We've seen stranger things happen. And if the Browns are going to be bad for a long time, then why keep holding on to this guy? Okay? Now, is it more likely to be as a Darius Smith or somebody like that? It really is. However, there is, I mean, I would give it an outside chance that it could happen. Will it happen? Eh. Would I be willing to do it? I mean, if I'm Cleveland, I don't really know if I'm the Cleveland Browns. Depends on what I'm getting for him. But if I'm the Detroit Lions, I got to see what's up. If you telling me there's a fire sale, I'm going to be like, yo, I'm putting on a fireman's outfit and I'm showing up. That's, that's what it is. All right, so let's check this out. Let's look at Miles Garrett's. Oh my goodness. Let's look at this dude's stats, man. Drafted first overall pick in 2017. <laughs> One, he, he was uh he's 6'4, 272. So he's the same size as Trayvon Walker. He's the exact same size. I think Trayvon is 6'4, 172. First round. Questionable. 28 years old. Now, before we go any further, I saw him and uh Mark from RD, RDC world. They were working out together. I saw that this morning. The NFL put out a video, had them working out. He was killing Mark. But I was looking at him like, dang, you know, still make me want to work out, blah, blah, blah. And then I see this. I'm like, bruh, bruh. All right. So I, I just want to go straight down to the basement and start pumping iron, man. All right. So he's having a pretty quiet year thus far. He's got nine solo tackles and uh, four sacks. All right. Look at this dude's stats, bruh. Rookie year, seven. 13, 10, 12, 16, 16, 14, and 4. The only year he did not have double-digit sacks is year 1. That's it. Year 1, and he got 7, which, by the way, is the lowest point of his career. He's literally coming off of 16, so he averages almost one sack a game. 16, 16, 14, and 4. That's insane. That's insane. It seems like DNs across the league are having a tough time when it comes to sacking the quarterback. It, it really does. Even the best of them are having hard times. Um, Micah Parsons, Miles Garrett, a little struggling, struggling a little bit this year. It's early on. Now, 
Could this be possible? Could it be possible? Whether the Browns do it or not, I think if they're enticed, I can already tell you now, Miles Garrett, you're going to have to give up two firsts. I'm going to tell you right now. So have y'all thought about what you would give up for Miles Garrett? You're going to have to give up at least two first, probably a player and probably some players down the road. Now, let's look at his salary, okay? Now, we've already established that Miles Garrett, when is he turning? Miles Garrett will be turning 29 at the end of the season. So he's up there with the rest of the pass rushers. All right? Now, remember I said, as you look at this, Trayvon Walker is really the best deal. He he really is the best deal. But if you're talking about Trayvon ain't going to cost you two first. He might cost you one. But Miles Garrett is going to cost you two for sure. All right. So let's look at this contract. All right. In 2024, Garrett will earn a base salary of $1.2 million and a signing bonus of $18 million. So that's the same thing Amari Cooper did. Cap hit of $20 million and a dead cap of value of $56 million. That's what would have to happen for the Browns to give this guy up. That's what they would, they would have to part ways with. So now we know the, the dead cap, which is a lot. That would be like record setting. I think that's more than that's more than um Max Crosby. That's a lot. So while I don't see this happening, I mean, like I said, stranger things, could he be available? Okay. Um, let's finish looking at his. So in 20, here's the, here's the crazy part though. They had an out, a potential out after last season. Okay. Let me see if I can go down here so I can scroll over to the end over here. So they've got a potential out. Look at that cap hit. Look at that. This realistically is when, which is the void years. These, these years are voided. If we scroll back, these years are all voided. So he'll be a UDFA in 2027. So it's going to be a while. And if you look at the cap hit, the, yeah, because this is the, the dead cap. The dead cap, 56. This is the, so 52, 56. So while it's more likely, in my honest opinion, next year or the year after, I think this year, I don't think Miles Garrett, they'll be willing to part with him for that type of dead cap. But at the same time, you have to look at it like this. If you're in a rebuild, you're in a rebuild, how long is it going to be before you're good? See, you took a risk on Deshaun Watson. The Browns have been that team. And it kind of funny. They threw Baker in the trash like the Rams did <laughs> Jared Goff, except the Browns ain't won nothing. So my thing is, that's a huge dead cap hit. Not, see, not one I see them willing to take. But if you look at it like this, Deshaun Watson, he's on the roster for a little bit while, right? He's on, is he on it the same time that Miles Garrett? Let's, let me see. I want to see something. Because if he's on, let me see, Deshaun Watson. Man, I got this. I got a Bluetooth keyboard. <laughs> and it is kind of a pain in the butt. Okay. It'll it'll like freeze. All right, so let's see. Deshaun Watson, let's see what he's on the books for. How long is he a Cleveland Brown? I know he signed the massive deal deal. Oh, okay. So Desha ooh, ooh. I say, oh my God. Wow. Wow. Deshaun Watson. Look at this. Him and Miles Garrett are on the books for the for the same amount of time. Look at this cap hit. $72 million. Holy mackerel. So they're on the team for the same amount of time. All right. So here's my thing. You got Deshaun. Are you willing or do you believe, do the Cleveland Browns believe that they're going to wind up, they can turn it around with Deshaun and Miles? Or are they willing to potentially cut their losses and be like, yo, if you're going to give us two first for Miles Garrett, we eat the cap, the dead cap, and we trade him. If you told me that I could get Miles Garrett for two first, I'm going to tell you yes. 
I'm going to tell you yes. Because you got him on the books for the next two years, right? And I'm trying to see what his salary would be for the next two years as well. His salary for the next two years. I mean, not any different than what any other major pass rusher would be of what 19 and 20 is his cap hit. Yeah. So you're talking about 20, what 20 million a piece. What is this? Yeah. So you're, you're, you're looking at, he, he did five year one twenty five, So that al- averages out to 25 million. Yeah, I do that. I do that. <laughs> do listen. I do that one. I do that twice because we're already picking in the bottom you would say bottom six, right? We make it to the NFC title game. We make it to the division round. That's we're picking in the late first round. And, and again, to get somebody of this caliber, you're gonna have to pay. That's that's the thing we talk about with Brad Holmes, right? You gonna have to pay. Okay. Now, I could almost promise you this. If we trade it two first for Miles Garrett, which I, I I don't know, man. Brad Holmes has not done anything like that. So it's hard for me to see him doing something like that. But if we did, I truly believe we win the Super Bowl before his contract is up. I, I couldn't even imagine. I couldn't even imagine if we did that. So you, you see I've been smiling this whole video, man. Because wow, it, it would really make my day. It would, at this point, man, almost anybody would make my day. Really. Anybody above average. This, I don't think the Eagles, I'm sorry, I don't think the Browns are going to be willing to let him go. But other things have happened. And I think anybody is for sale. I think anyone, any, meaning any of these football players are for sale with the, for the right price. So I'm thinking to get a Miles Garrett is going to easily be Stafford type stuff. You're talking about two firsts. Let's just throw James Houston in there. James Houston, two firsts, and two other picks. Right, because we did. Okay, so what would you do? James Houston, two firsts. You know what? Let's do a third. Let's do the, the Matthew Stafford. Would you do the Matthew Stafford trade, but instead of Jared Goff, it's James Houston for Miles Garrett? I say yes. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Remember, this channel is brought to you by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You could be anywhere else on YouTube, but you choose to rock with me. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. I can wipe this smile off my face because this ain't going to happen. But, man, imagine if it did.